Welcome to the intriguing world of the list of Adrian Messenger, a cinematic gem from 1963 that weaves a tapestry of mystery and suspense. As you embark on this cinematic journey, you might find yourself pondering two questions. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or out of the many roles in this film, which one was your favorite? Now, let's dive into some captivating insights about the film. This suspenseful creation, directed by John Huston, introduces a unique narrative where a series of murders unfolds, shrouded in disguise and deception. The stellar ensemble cast, featuring the likes of Kirk Douglas, Burt Lancaster, and Tony Curtis, delivers compelling performances that keep audiences on the edge of their seats. The plot is not the only intriguing aspect of this classic. Did you know that the film incorporates a clever use of disguises, with various actors, including some uncredited surprise appearances, taking on multiple roles? It adds an extra layer of mystery and intrigue, making the movie a true cinematic puzzle. Before we delve further into the enigmatic world of the list of Adrian Messenger, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover more fascinating details about this cinematic puzzle. Stay tuned for more insights and surprises. A List of Adrian Messenger, a 1963 mystery film directed by John Huston, unfolds as a thrilling tale of deception and intrigue. Based on the novel of the same name by Philip MacDonald, the film boasts a unique narrative structure centered around a series of murders. The story follows retired British intelligence officer George Bruffle, portrayed by George C. Scott, as he investigates a mysterious list of names that predicts the sequence of murders. What sets this film apart is its distinctive approach to casting. Notable actors, including Kirk Douglas, Tony Curtis, and Burt Lancaster, don disguises to play various supporting roles, adding an element of surprise and suspense for the audience. The film's clever use of makeup and prosthetics to transform recognizable faces further enhances its enigmatic atmosphere. The list of Adrian Messenger not only captivates with its suspenseful plot, but also leaves a lasting impact on popular culture due to its innovative casting choices and narrative techniques. The film's unconventional style and memorable performances have influenced subsequent works in the mystery genre, showcasing the enduring legacy of this classic cinematic masterpiece. In the behind-the-scenes world of The List of Adrian Messenger, a 1963 mystery directed by John Huston, the film's casting choices take center stage. Actor Jan Merlin, in an article for Video Watchdog magazine, reveals a fascinating aspect of the movie. He discloses that he played several of the star cameos, including Kirk Douglas in various disguises. Tony Curtis, Frank Sinatra, and Burt Lancaster, according to Merlin, never physically appeared in the film. Instead, they shot close-ups for an epilogue, peeling off their heavy makeup. Merlin's experiences on set inspired him to write a novel titled Shooting Montezuma, delving into the filming of this unique cinematic venture. Additionally, reports suggest that Frank Sinatra's disguised cameo was executed by actor Dave Willick, with Sinatra making his only appearance at the end of the film during the unmasking sequence. This revelation adds an intriguing layer to the film's production, showcasing the meticulous work behind the scenes. Moreover, the film's promotional materials reveal an interesting tidbit about the billing order on posters. A list of Adrian Messenger stands out as one of two films where Kirk Douglas' name precedes Burt Lancaster's in the promotional material. This, however, results from alphabetical billing rather than any hierarchy in their roles. Notably, Tony Curtis takes precedence over both Douglas and Lancaster, a billing order justified by his ranking in the Quigley box office poll of 1960 and 1961. Yet, by 1962, the dynamics shifted, shedding light on the evolving stardom of the actors during that period. These revelations about the disguised cameos, billing quirks, and the impact on actors' careers contribute to the rich tapestry of the list of Adrian Messenger, offering audiences a glimpse into the intricacies of its production and the unique choices made by the filmmakers. This 1963 mystery continues to captivate not just for its plot, but also for the behind-the-scenes anecdotes that shape its legacy in the world of cinema. Partially filmed on John Huston's estate in Ireland, the list of Adrian Messenger unveils a captivating narrative of deception and mystery. 
The unique casting choices, with notable actors donning disguises, add an element of surprise. Behind the scenes, actor Jan Merlin reveals in Video Watchdog magazine that he played several star cameos, including Kirk Douglas. Surprisingly, Tony Curtis, Frank Sinatra, and Burt Lancaster never physically appeared, shooting only close-ups for an epilogue. Frank Sinatra's disguised cameo was executed by actor Dave Willick, adding an intriguing layer to the film's production. The billing order on posters, with Tony Curtis taking precedence, reflects his ranking in the Quigley box office poll. This film's behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into its production intricacies and the unique choices made by filmmakers. The list of Adrian Messenger, a classic cinematic masterpiece, continues to captivate audiences. In the world of the list of Adrian Messenger, Kirk Douglas, known for his versatile roles, took on a dual role not just as an actor but also as the executive producer. Interestingly, his production company, Brina, was involved in the making of the film through Joel Productions, despite Douglas not being explicitly credited as the executive producer. Joel Productions, a part of Brina, played a crucial behind-the-scenes role in bringing this 1963 mystery to life. While the film's credits may not highlight Douglas' executive producer role, his influence extended beyond the screen. Joel Productions' involvement sheds light on the intricate workings of the production, showcasing how the actor seamlessly blended his acting prowess with responsibilities behind the scenes. Furthermore, this dual role adds a layer of complexity to Douglas' contribution to the list of Adrian Messenger. As an actor and executive producer, his impact on the film's development and execution becomes a noteworthy aspect of the behind-the-scenes narrative, contributing to the film's enduring legacy. In addition to these behind-the-scenes insights, it's worth noting that John Huston, a multifaceted personality, made a cameo appearance as Lord Ashton in a short dialogue scene during The Last Hunt. A seasoned writer and hunter, Huston's brief appearance adds a unique dimension to the film bringing a personal touch from the director himself. The list of Adrian Messenger draws from Philip MacDonald's detective novels, particularly those featuring Anthony Gethrin, portrayed by George C. Scott in this film. MacDonald, who wrote several books about Gethrin in the 1930s, took a hiatus for 21 years before penning the source novel for this film in 1959. This chronological detail highlights the evolution of the source material and showcases the detective's enduring appeal. In summary, beyond the captivating mystery on screen, the film's production intricacies, Kirk Douglas' dual role, John Huston's cameo, and the evolution of the source material contribute to the rich tapestry of the list of Adrian Messenger, making it a classic cinematic masterpiece. As the cinematic tapestry of the list of Adrian Messenger unfolds, it weaves threads of mystery, intrigue, and a timeless connection that transcends the silver screen. Each scene is a brushstroke on the canvas of our collective imagination, leaving us with a masterpiece that echoes through the corridors of time. Now, dear reader, viewer, let the essence of this cinematic gem seep into the recesses of your memories. What echoes of the enigmatic characters and plot twists resonate within the corridors of your own experiences? The list of Adrian Messenger is more than just a movie. It's an invitation to explore the depths of your personal connection with storytelling. In the quiet moments when the credits roll and the echoes of the narrative linger, take a pause. Reflect on the characters who walk the celluloid path, the twists that left you breathless, and the subtle nuances that whispered secrets to your soul. What memories of this cinematic journey are etched into the fabric of your consciousness? Let the conversations begin, a symphony of voices sharing thoughts and memories, a celebration of the art that binds us together across time and space. Your reflections are the missing pieces that complete the puzzle, the unseen commentary that enriches the narrative. Share your thoughts, your musings, and your revelations. What does the list of Adrian Messenger mean to you? Your words are the bridge that connects past and present, making this cinematic journey a living, breathing entity that evolves with each new perspective. Thank you for embarking on this introspective voyage with us. Your time and thoughts are cherished, and together we continue to unearth the layers of meaning within the list of Adrian Messenger, crafting stories and fostering connections.